What is up, YouTube, and welcome to the brand new Bedlam map. Holy bananas. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of this. It is absolutely ginormous. You know what it reminds me of as well? It reminds me of the Outlast Manor. Even the front, even the front entrance reminds me of the Outlast Manor. This is absolutely gigantic. Holy bananas, this is massive. For a solo player, this is gonna there's no way we do all of that. There's no way we have to go into every single room. No way. No way. There's just no way. There's no way. Right. We're on the Bedlam map. We're on the brand new Demonologist update. This is going to be absolutely insane. We've obviously got the equipment. We are on easy, though, mainly because I want to test everything out first. I want to see what's going on in this one. Apparently, there is some crazy changes. We've got two new items as well. So we've got this salt ring thing. I don't know what it, what it is. Like ghost salt. So it, it, it like creates a ring around you. And I think it's there for protection, but I'm not entirely sure. So we've got that. And then we've got a pocket watch or a stopwatch pocket watch thing this is something to do with the exorcism on this map i don't know entirely what it's about but apparently the exorcism on this map is way different and it's got loads of puzzles and it's going to be extremely difficult so yeah i don't know if we're going to do this in one but we'll definitely give our give it our best so here we go let's go in with the normal sort of stuff i think we go in do we go in with a flashlight i think we go in the flashlight on the first one right this is the first time we're playing it so let's go in esg and let's go thermostat maybe yeah let's do thermostat i think let's have a look at the objectives find the missing puzzle piece okay now i think that's a picture so once we identify the ghost we have to find a picture that's on the wall it randomly spawns somewhere so no idea what the picture looks like, but apparently we will know what it looks like. Solve the puzzle near the cells and place the missing piece. Okay, so that's the missing puzzle piece. Reach the room where the ghost died. Ooh, that sounds snaz. Find a way to exercise. Find a way to exercise the ghost. Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't normally say find a way, I don't think. Or maybe it does. I'm just not paying attention. So we got Lu Lukeman Spence. Luckman Spence? Luckman Spence it is. Okay. Let's go in. Jeez, what does this say? Remember us for we too have lived, loved, and laughed. I like that. That's nice. Hello, mates. You've got no head. Cool. Here we go. This is it. This is the first time playing this. I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. This looks absolutely incredible. Oh. Is there a key? Is this like Faz? Am I like Mr. Key or something? There is a path that goes around there. Oh, there's a house there as well. What the hell? Am I like missing the key or something? I don't think there's a key anywhere. It doesn't look like it. Maybe we don't go through the front door. Kind of like Outlast. Kind of makes sense, right? Right. Let's head out. Let's, let's follow this. Way. I don't really like this way, to be honest. There's a house here as well. Oh, it's, it's, we probably can't go in it, though. Oh, we can go in it. Trap doors here. Look at this. Can we actually go through there? Can you see, like, a gap in there? Oh, there is a gap. I think you actually can... You can get in there. What? Okay, that's interesting. Got a thing over here as well. Nothing going on there. Oh, what's this? Pliers, maybe? Oh, do we have to use the pliers on the door? Wait, no, I didn't see change. Let's follow the let's follow the path still, because I feel like we've got to go this way. But what a start. I mean, look at the look at the state of this. Look at the state. There's no way we have to go to the top floor, right? Look how many floors there are. There's like five floors. Okay, what's this? Oh no, this is, we're in. Oh, we're in. Oh, we're in. Okay, deep breath. We're going in. And I instantly hate it. Why, why you gotta do noises, man? So the first thing's for, oh! Holy crap! That scared the bananas out of me! 
Where did that even come from? I didn't even see anything. Maybe that was above us, maybe. I was going to say, first things first, I want to kind of like walk around a little bit. I just like scope the place out, see what's going on. Jesus, ghost. You want to calm down, mate. Seriously. Right, so I think it's above us. I think, because I didn't see anything down with us. Oh my... Oh, the light's on in here. Oh, the light must always be on in here, maybe? Uh, there is no light switch in here. That's weird. There's something flashing over here. What's oh, a key? Oh, the key for the door. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Nice. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I'd rather just, like, go upstairs. I go upstairs. I'd rather... I'm, I'm going to go upstairs now. But I'd rather just go through the front door. I don't really understand the point of going around the back. Like, what does that give us? Right, let's head... Why did I just hear... I heard, like, footsteps on the gravel outside. That was weird. Break is here. I'm assuming that's just for looks. Okay. Right, so we're going upstairs. Oh, chains! Here we go. I don't know if I meant to do that. God. Dane. God deigned us a gift. God deigned us? God dined us? I don't know what that says. What does that say? Deigned? I don't know what date is, but there's a crucifix. I don't think I could take it. Oh, I can. What the hell is going on? What's happening? I don't know if I want to take that. I feel like that's going to... We're going to get, like, screwed somehow. What does it say? Axe? Axe? Okay. Jeez Louise, man. That sounded like it was in here. Hello? No, it's in the next room. I heard you. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're in here. You are in here. I can hear you. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's play this game. I'm ready. Have some of that. Have some ESG. Uh, let me just turn on the light a minute. What's happening? Oh. That doesn't scare me. Okay, you're scaring me a little bit now. Can you manifest? Can you show yourself? Oh, my God. What was that? That looked like a little alien boy. Oh, my God. I'm getting out of here. Okay, we've got ESG. That's nice. Straight off the bat. And the fact that we found it straight away is nice. By the way, we're on the second floor. I don't know how many floors there are. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I've got chills. I think it's because I'm more excited than scared. That looks creepy down there, by the way. Right, so we've got ESG. That's huge. We've started off brilliantly. I'm more I'm more concerned about the puzzle or the, the exorcism because the... The puzzles seem like they're crazy. It's not as easy as what it was before. Oh, that's me. Oh my god, that scared me. Why are we so low on sanity? We're on easy. What the crap? Okay, we've got ESG. Let's go. Let's go in with this. Let's go spirit rocks. Let's go ecto. I don't think I don't think we get hunted. If we do get hunted, though, this is nice. If we do get hunted, we have that crucifix. I wonder if it's the crucifix each time. That'd be kind of handy. Because if you're stuck, you know, if you're stuck in a bind and all of a sudden it does like, it's like a revenant or something like that and just hunts you for no reason. Oh, I should have, you know what I should have brought? Yeah, I should have brought the UV. Yeah, because it's going crazy with the fingerprints and that. This seems like a pretty, oh, ecto holy ectoplasm, mate. And it's done. Can you speak? Where are you? Oh, God. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Where are you? Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. I definitely don't like... I don't like this! I don't know what's going on. I'm getting out of here again. Okay. So, ectoplasm... Ectoplasm ESG. Holy bananas. That's an active ghost, though. Sweet Jesus. I don't know if it's because we're on the Bedlam map and things are just crazy because it's Bedlam at the end of the day. I don't know. I also feel like this statue is something. Where's the light coming from? That's what I want to know. Like, something is shining on it. Is it that? Maybe it's that. I feel like that statue's lit up for no reason because that's not lit up. So why is the statue lit up? That's a bit weird. 
Man, we are dropping sanity like crazy. Right, ectoplasm. Raiju, a Yuri, a Gwipo, a Nama, and a Diogen. So I think it could still... I think it's going to be a Dio. Reason. It's literally anything. I don't think it's Spirit Box. I think it's going to be Fingerprints. Let's go in with UV. Let's go in with another Crucifix, and let's go in with this. Everything else I think we should be good on. Maybe it's worth taking a candle in, you know? Or maybe I'll just go grab the Crucifix. There's already a Crucifix in there. Let's just, let's not risk that. Let's go with this. Let's go in with the... Oh, you know what we could do, actually? I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's go in with the Salt. Let's see what the Salt does. I have no idea what it's going to do. From what I understand, it puts like a protection barrier around you. So I'm assuming... I don't know if you guys have ever watched Supernatural before, but they put like a salt ring around him to protect. I think I don't think that's just a supernatural thing. I think that's just a ghost hunting thing in general. That's terrifying. Okay, there is a loop as well. There's a there's a massive loop. So if this ghost isn't fast, we're in business. Holy crap, I thought it was hunting. Holy crap. This thing's this could this thing is nuts, by the way. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Oh, I don't care anymore. Uh I'll tell you what. I'm just going to put it here. Oh, okay. So it literally does... That doesn't look like it's... That doesn't look like it's going to protect me much. Okay, let's get the light now because we know what it is. Oh, no. Where's the light? There is. Right. Let's get out of here a minute. Let's, re let's recover. Let's recuperate. What have we got? We've got freezing. It's a Raiju. I don't know what a Raiju does, but it's a Raiju. Let's go get some stuff. We've got a crucifix in here as well. I think we bring in another crucifix just in case. Is it hunting? Oh my god, it's hunting. It's hunting. Oh, oh, it's coming. Run, run, you idiot. Run, you idiot. I can't run. I don't know if it's coming. I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't know where it is. I'm waiting for one of the lights to flicker. Holy bananas, I'm not in a good place. Alright, maybe we're safe. Oh yeah, we're safe. It's doing its thing. Let's go get this freaking crucifix. Holy crap, it's hunting so soon! I'm taking this. What the hell? Why is it hunting so quick? That's mental. I can't be that low. My sanity must be like, like lowest must be 60%. That's mental. How is that thing hunting? No way. I'll tell you what, let me take this as well. We. Oh my God, if it's hunting already. It's a Raiju. What does a Raiju do then? Where's a Raiju? Raiju. Raiju is a ghost known to draw strength from solitude. Being alone may mean that you are, oh, that makes more sense. Targets are very good. That makes sense. It's because I'm alone. Of all the ghosts to get on the Bedlam map, on the brand new Bedlam map that's absolutely ginormous, we would get a ghost that can hunt you because you're on your own. That's just terrific, isn't it? Maybe... Do we take Sanity? Is it even worth it? We'll take Sanity. We've got two more pills after this. I think we go in with Candle to try and keep our Sanity where it's at. Then we go in with Crucifix because we've already got one in there. So let's go with two Crucifixes. And, oh, we're going to need the pocket watch, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to need the pocket watch. Yeah, let's take the... Oh, do I, I want a light, though, right? I think I need a light. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a light, which kind of sucks. It's all right, though. We've got we've got so many crucifixes now. I, I love the fact that we get a crucifix. That's so handy. So at the moment, it's 3... 3.05... Yeah, that's terrifying. Please stop doing that. Oh, there's a... Okay. I was going to say where's the cursed items, but we found it. So we're looking for a picture. I don't really know... I don't really know what the picture will look like. 
we got over here? Oh, hello. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. Is that part of the puzzle, maybe? I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. These doors, man, they're smacking me about. Right, I think I think I should probably hang with my uh, crucifix here because at any point, this thing could just run around the corner and just rip our face off. Right, so I don't think it's down. Uh, again, I don't know what the picture looks like, so I don't know what I'm looking for. I actually really like the fact that there's a loop. Like, that loop is so good. Providing the ghost isn't crazy quick, we should be all right. That looks like an elevator. Okay. Oh my God, there's a basement. Oh my sweet Jesus. There's like 18 floors to this place. Okay, that's that. There's loads of breakers about. I wonder if that's something to do with the puzzle as well. This is creepy down. What the hell is this? Oh. Well, that looks terrible. I can't go in there, apparently. Blood on that door. That's brilliant. There's a note here. What does it say? The ghost set up a mechanism so that no one would approach the room where his body was. And even if they did, he would notice it. You cannot easily enter this room. First, you will have to solve the contraption. If you do not tread on the correct pieces, the ghost will realize the danger and kill you immediately. I, how long is, oh my god, this is massive. I ain't got time for this. I need to find the puzzle piece first. What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, that's the puzzle piece. Oh no. That's the sliding thing. You know, when you have to make a picture by sliding different parts. Oh my god, I am so bad at that. There is no way. I'm going to have to skip that for you guys. There's no way you're going to want to watch that. My god, that's going to be ridiculously hard. Oh, that sucks. I really hope the ghost can't attack you then. Right, pictures. I don't know what the picture would look like. I guarantee it's in the ghost room. I bet you this picture is in the ghost room. I have no idea what I'm looking for, but I bet you it's in the uh, ghost room. You know what's really weird, though? I can hear footsteps. But, like, it sounds like the footsteps are outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I really don't know what this room is. It's kind of creeping me out. I feel like I've just unlocked something. I don't want to. It's fine. I don't know. I, I have no idea what this picture would look like. I'm trying not to run. So I can just like take everything in and also try and find this stupid picture, which I have no idea where it is. It's going to be in here. Holy crap, that scared me, but that's my canvas thing. Yep, freezing. I know. It doesn't look like it's in there. I don't really want to spend too much time in there, to be honest. Is it here, maybe? I mean, there's toilets, but... I wonder if the ghost can spawn in the toilet room. It kind of reminds me of Faz a little bit, those toilets. I have no... Oh, that looks different. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, puzzle piece found. So now we have to go down to the basement. I don't know what my sanity is going to be like. Right, let me take, let me turn the torch off. I don't know if you guys can see, but I don't want to leave the torch on mainly because the ghost is attracted to the torch, I think. So if we leave it on, he's going to come down here and rip our face off. And I don't really want that. Surprisingly, I don't want that. I was going to say, please don't break. This is creepy. I feel like this is a trap. I also don't know what my sanity is. We need to read the rest of this. Uh, you immediately... However, that is not as easy as you think. The entrance to this room is from the room directly opposite the canteen. Um, canteen? The kitchen? I think the kitchen. The contraption constantly changes and the changes progress over time. The contraption works as if... The clock is between 1 and 3. Oh, this is where the pocket watch comes in. Clock is between 1 and 3, pattern A. Clock is between 3 and... F what? No way. No way. Of what is the pattern? 
Clock is between one and three, pattern A. The clock is between three and five, pattern B. Clock is between five and eight, pattern C. The clock is between eight and ten, pattern D. Blah, 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 blah. Pattern B is the mirror image of pattern A. Pattern C is the 180 degree rotation. Are you joking me? No, wait. It's got to be easier than this. That sounds ridiculous. Pattern C is the 180 degree rotation of pattern B. Pattern D is the 180 degree rotation of the mirror image of pattern B. A pattern F is between these hours, the ghost has placed traps under all the pieces you would tread. If you tread anywhere near during this time, the ghost will notice you, approach you, and kill you. That's brilliant. I left a picture of pattern A beside the note to that. Oh, that's what that picture was. This contraption is always working. There's no way to stop it, no matter what. So you have to be very careful. We were able to solve this system. Even one of us dared to cross, but she could not return and we would never dare. Oh, is this the ghost then? We left a small miniature of the room at the entrance to help you. I hope someone will come and achieve what we could have. You have to be careful. The slightest mistake result in your death. Taylor. Well, Taylor, you suck, mate. You know what? You suck. I need to hide in this corner. Oh, man, this is going to take forever. I will probably skip this forward unless it doesn't take too long, but I'm most likely going to skip this forward. But let's, let's try this. I kind of know how to do it. The idea is you're supposed to get the top row first. So if we do the top row, so let's do this. Uh, where's the top row? There's the top row. And that one is as well, actually. So let's do that. Let's do this. So that's the top row done. Um, no, that's, I've done this wrong. I think. Do that, do that. We need to move that. I need to move that out of the way. I need to get that in the middle as well. Right, let's do this. Do this. Yeah, this is good. This is working. This is fine. I like this. We need to get that. there. Uh, we need to get that one on that side. And we need, oh, we've completely brought this up. Do this. Okay, here we go. This is it. We're on something here. I need to get that over there. So let's do this. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I thought I was hunting. I was like, well, I'm dead. This. Now we need to get that. We're so close as well. Uh, let's do... We're so close. I keep thinking I can hear it footsteps, but I, it sounds like there's footsteps outside. It's so weird. Oh, here we go. We got it. Boom. Nice. Nice. Okay. I don't know what I just picked up. I can't see anything. Right. Let's head back outside. We actually did that pretty quickly. I thought we were going to struggle. I actually prefer that to the, the forewarned puzzle. You know, the one where you have to remember stuff. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. All right, we have to remember as well. We've got like three. Is it hunting? Oh, it's not even started hunting yet. What the hell? All right, let's head outside. I don't think we're going to need anything. So it's the... It's, what's the time? Almost one o'clock. Let's go get some pills. Because we're probably going to need them. Okay. This puzzle is going to be ridiculous, I think. I honestly think this is going to be ridiculous. 61%. That's not too bad. Let's take pills. Right, let's go, go, go. So pattern A was between one and three. So realistically, we've timed this to perfection because we want to be doing pattern A. Surely, surely we want to be doing pattern A. I need to make sure I've got this crucifix out at all times. I've got in the wrong door. It's got to be here, right? And this is going to be the thing. Yep. So pattern A is going to... Oh, pattern A, yeah. So top right, down, left, down, left, down, left. Oh, God. Right, so we're at one to three, right? 
So it's going to be top right, and we're going to go down, and it's going to go that, le down, left, down, left, down. So it starts from this one, right? That's going to be right. This one, this one, this one. Boom! We're professionals. I'm telling you, what the hell is going on in here? Oh, oh, we did it. We're in the room. What do we do now? The note here. I think I'm stuck here. I can't go back because this effing trap thing keeps changing. It was supposed to be over when I got into this room, but the ghost had corrupted the entire system to protect itself. It seems like the ghost has removed the fuses and severed the wires to cut off the electricity. That's why I should have brought two fuses and an electrical tape with me before I got in here. Damn. These were in the hospital. I saw them. I don't know how long I've been here or how many days have passed. I had a lot to, of time to think, thinking about the deaths that happened before. Most of them with, with a scalpel. I think the object the ghost is bound to is a scalpel. Must be in the hospital. The ghost spotted me. I'm sure it's playing with my mind, trying to weaken me. I don't have much time I've left. I feel I feel it. I write that I will write down what I have solved during this time on this paper. Whoever gets here may solve the trap system and return. Won't waste time here. Find two fuses inside the hospital and put them in the fuse boxes. Then fix the broken wires with electrical tape and place the scalp on the chair. Lastly, there is a lever on the wall that activates the electrical system. Pull it. I hate you, Taylor, for getting us into this. Yeah, Taylor, you suck. Oh, wait. Oh, no, what's the time? What's the time? Oh, we need to go back. Um, I think it's this one. Like this. Oh! Because remember, we, we only have a limited amount of time to get back and forth. That sucks. Oh my god, that sucks. Okay, let's, let's recover. Holy crap. That's going to be mental. Because you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait until 1 till 3. I suppose you could probably do it now, right? There's notes on here. Can I do the trap mechanism? Nice. So pattern B is 3 till 5, which is now. And pattern B is the mirror image of pattern A. So that means rather than the top right, it will come from the bottom left. Right? Or will it be top left? Maybe it will be top left. I'll be honest with you. I think it's worth waiting until one till three. That's so long away as well, though. That's going to suck. You... Did you guys hear that? That was definitely footsteps on the gravel. Yeah, that's going to suck. All right, let's check sanity, though. Let's see, even if we were in there, whether the sanity does fade. Because now we have to find two fuses. And we've seen a lot of fuse boxes, so I'm going to assume it's in there. 90%. Wow, we have not dropped at all. That's nice. I like that. Um, we're not going to need to take pills, I don't think. No, I'm not even going to bother. So we're going to need to find two fuses. We need to find a, a, a duct tape, I think it was, and a scalpel. Everything is going to be in the hospital. And guess where the ghost room is? In the friggin' hospital. Yeah, absolutely. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, so we need to find all this stuff before it gets to one o'clock. That's essentially what we need to do. Oh wait, is this the hospital? Oh, maybe this is the hospital. Those noises are absolutely terrifying, by the way. Is this the hospital? No, that says Anderson. Dr. Anderson. Oh, it's, you know, it's the doctor's room, but it's not a... Is there anything in here? I'm looking. I'm looking for stuff. If you were a scalpel, you'd be in the hospital, right? Well, you'd 100% be in the hospital. The other thing we need to look for as well is fuse boxes. Let's look for fuse boxes as well. Oh, canteen. Oh, the room opposite the can in here. Okay, so that makes more sense. So it's in there. Okay. I'll be honest with you. We've actually kind of smashed this. Like, we've done this pretty well. To say how... To say how hard this was, I mean, it is pretty hard. And the problem is as well, oh, there's a fuse box here. Oh, okay. What the F did I just see? I don't know what I just saw. 
That sounded horrendous as well. It sounded like like someone screaming, but like glitched. I really hope this thing doesn't start hunting. Oh. Oh, that's the tape. Okay. So now what do we need? We need the scalpel and we need two fuses. But there wasn't any in the fuse box though, which is weird. Anything over here? Anything over here? Fuse box here. No, I can't do anything with the fuse boxes. So there must be just some fuses lying around. I don't really want to go up here because I feel like I'm going to get attacked. Yep. Told you. Go, go. I don't know where it is. That's our problem. Oh, God. I don't know where it is. Is it behind me? It's right behind me. I don't know where it is. No, it's it's behind me now. Where? I don't see it. Oh my God, look at the state of that thing. Oh, it's coming. Holy crap. Did you see that? What the F balls is that thing? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Is it coming up? Gotta wait for the lights to flicker. It's gotta be this side. It's gotta be the right side. Because the left side isn't flickering. Unless it's not hunting anymore. Okay, maybe it's not hunting. I haven't got time for this, man. I'm gonna turn this on and hope it doesn't come after me. You got a scalpel in here? Or fuses? Or anything? There's nothing in here. You in here, maybe? There's nothing in here, either. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, God. What? Oh, my God! What the... That was insane. Like, that was so cool. I'm also terrified. Why can't I... There's like no fuses. And there's no scalpel. I'm going to assume it's like shiny. In the toilets, maybe? Does it even... Can it even spawn in there? It doesn't look like it. I think I need to turn this off again see anything though scalpel fuses oh there we go okay we just got a fuse where's the scalpel though like what's the time oh yeah we're not doing this i mean we're not far away but we're not i don't think we're gonna do this where else have we not been we've been everywhere so where the f is the scalpel Definitely not in here, right? Maybe we'll walk around without the light on. Mainly so we can see if anything's flashing. Doesn't look like anything's flashing over there. We need to open this door as well to see if it starts hunting. Where the he Oh, is it down in the basement? Does it would it even spawn in the basement? That's broke. Is there a I feel like there's a yeah, they're breaking down here. Okay. So there's the... Oh, God. I can't see anything, man. This is absolutely terrifying. I'm going to assume the scalpel doesn't spawn down here. Does it spawn in here? It does! That's what this room is for. This is a terrifying room, by the way. There's something going on in this room. I don't like it. I think we have everything, you know. What's our time? We've done this to perfection. There's no way we've done all this to perfection. So now we just wait until one o'clock and we complete the puzzle. There's no way we've done this. I think it's hunting. I'm not sure. Maybe it's hunting. Yeah, 
it's hunting me. I'm just gonna have to take the loss. I haven't got time. I just haven't got time. But the lights aren't flickering. No, it's not hunting anymore. Okay. It was hunting, though. What's the time? Okay, so we're coming up to 12 o'clock. I think we have everything. So we have two fuses, we have the tape, and we have the scalpel. We have everything we need to do. Okay. Um, yeah, we just wait till one. Let's wait. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to risk going inside. Okay. I don't know if I like this time thing, though. I think this time thing sucks. Mainly because you're going to have to... You either have to time this to perfection, or you're going to have to wait. And no one wants to sit around waiting, especially if you're doing a video. I'm not going to be able to... Well, I suppose I could skip forward, but... To be fair, though, we've absolutely destroyed this. Like, the puzzle is definitely way harder than the other one. I mean, well, the other ones aren't even puzzles. You just you just do things. This is kind of ridiculous. And if you think about it, if you've got a ghost like the Raiju that just hunts you whenever you want, it's tough. Although we've, we've been kind of lucky in the fact that it's really slow as well, which is a bit weird. All right, I think we go in. We have to hope that it doesn't start hunting. I mean, we've got a second crucifix, so if we need to, let's go. I'm not going to turn my light on because it's going to, it's going to like draw him to us. What we got? Okay, coming up to one. So we go top right, yeah? Top right, down, left, down, left, down. So we start from this one. I'm going to keep the crucifix on me. Right, we are, I'm going to wait till five past. Five past one. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay. Uh, can I shut this door? No, I can't. Right, we need this light on. Uh, if it comes in here, so be it. So, that's the lever. We need to do power, though. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I do power? Okay, power. Fuses. Boom. What else did it say we needed? Duct tape? Oh, scalpel. Scalpel. Okay. Duct tape. Duct tape this thing. Duct tape that. What am I duct taping? I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds like footsteps. Okay, I don't know what I'm duct taping. It's like wires hanging, but I can't duct tape anything. I can't duct tape anything. How do I? What do I? What am I doing? I duct tape this. Let me just pull the lever, see what happens. Jesus Christ, man! Oh, what was that? So it flashed down here. Oh! Duct tape. Boom. Done. Let's go. Flashed here as well. We gotta look for the flashes. Maybe we gotta look for the flashes. Oh, flash over here. See it, see it. Okay. Do that one. We'll just keep doing it until we've done it. Flash over here. Boom. Okay. Final one. Wow, that is awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That is creepy and awesome at the same time. Can I do it again? No way. I think we did it. Did we do it? Oh, wait. Don't tell me we've got to do... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me we've got to do it like this. Oh, no. I don't know if I risk it. Um, all right. Well, before I do that, before I do that, what we'll do is we'll do two endings to this. So I'm going to end it here to say that was absolutely amazing. This map is incredibly cool. We've come across one room and the interactions were terrifying. We also went into that other room. I don't know what room it was, but the one with like the chair that flipped up and in it, it was this guy that we exercised, but then it was the girl that the grudge girl that got squished. That's kind of creepy and kind of sad in a way. That was an awesome exorcism.
it kind of reminds me of something. I don't know what it reminds me of. This room reminds me of something. Another game. I can't think what it is. But that was absolutely insane. And it, oh, my sweet mother of Jesus. That gave me the worst chills I think I've ever had in my life. Holy crap. Oh my god, that scared the bananas out of me. You shouldn't be doing that, mate. You're gone. Okay, that terrified me. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to do two endings. We're going to leave it here. And that was awesome. Uh, I absolutely love that. We're going to be playing loads of the Bedlam map. Let's try and find all the interactions. Also, I might do... I'm probably going to do some videos on how to do the puzzles and stuff. Because we actually did it pretty easily. But I feel like we're not always going to do that easily. I don't think we're going to do it every time as easily. And also... I might try and work out the pattern for this. Yeah, maybe. I might do that. So we're going to end it here. Unless I don't die on this bit in a minute, then we'll carry it on. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, video. The Bedlam map is absolutely insane. And I'm going to end it here. Let's go on to the next one. If I'm still here, you know I didn't die, basically. So here we go. Um, should we try and work it out, actually? So what's the time? So it's almost five and eight. So pattern C is the 180 degree rotation of pattern B. And pattern B is the mirror image of pattern A. So if it stops on here, it's going to go over here, right? And 180 degree rotation, that would be 90. So it start from over there, right? So da, 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 da. So I've got to be here. No way. We're freaking geniuses. We're absolutely geniuses. I might actually do a video because we worked that out so easily. Uh, I, to be fair, you guys are probably watching thinking, yeah, that's not that difficult. Like, that's like simple just working out. But for me, that's pretty impressive. Okay, cool. We made it. I wonder if it's worth actually walking around now. No, we'll do... Actually, you know what? We'll do another video. Let's do another video on the Bedlam map. Let's see what happens. Because that was insane. I love that. I want to go into another room and I want to see some more crazy interactions. Because the interactions we got from that room were absolutely incredible. But yeah, this map is on another level. The fact that you also go into another house to get an item that helps you inside the map. That's kind of cool. And also, there is so many flaws to this building. I feel like they could continuously add stuff to it. Absolutely insane. Let's go to game number two. Let's hope we get a different room. Let's hope we get different interactions. All right, guys. Game number two. Back on the brand new Bedlam map. This is going to be absolutely insane. I love this map already. It's absolutely incredible. You know what I was just thinking as well? Imagine if you were in the tent and you saw something run into the house. How crazy would that be? That would be terrifying, right? But also absolutely incredible. Let's actually, let's not put ideas in the devs' heads because they probably will end up doing that. Anas Hansen. Okay, so is it the same? Find the missing puzzle piece, solve the puzzle. Okay, so it's the, it's the same sort of stuff. Uh, we're actually, for some reason, we're on easy and we're starting off at 93%. What's all this about? Why are we Why are we on easy and getting absolutely destroyed already? Okay, do we go in with a light? I don't think we do on this one. I think we go in with this, we go in this, and we just have to hope that it's not going to be a ghost that's going to just absolutely destroy us. And I think we're going with thermostat as well. Uh, right, we can't go in the front, so we know that. Let's go into this house first, get the pliers, and let's... Because the beauty of this is, is that we have a free crucifix in the building. How crazy is that? That's like OP as hell. Let's get this. Also, there is definitely something more going on. Like, there's a light on in there, and there's also, like, trap doors that you can actually see through. So there's definitely secrets to this map. Maybe we'll try because there's a lot of secrets on every map that I haven't really gone too much in depth on. So maybe we'll try and do the secrets on this Bedlam map. Maybe. I'm not sure. I, I guess let me know down in the comments below. Do, is that what you want? Oh my god, it's really dark. All right. We've got to listen. I think listening. Uh, first things first, let's go open the uh, door to the crucifix. I might... No, I'll leave that on actually. Okay, let's go... Open that, go in here. Oh! It give. Why is it 10 degrees in here? That can't be the ghost room. Oh, it gives you a different item each time. Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah, that sucks. We're also massively in trouble now. Oh, yeah, that's going to suck. I thought we were going to get crucifix each time. Right, 20 degrees, nothing going on in here. 
I need to listen as well. Is it in the is it in the hospital area? Oh! Sweet Jesus! Okay, I think we found it. Although it's 20 degrees in here. How is it 20 degrees? Yeah, holy crap. I think we found it, unless it's underneath us. It's only 20 degrees, though. Can you give me a sign? I find it weird that it's 20 degrees in here. Maybe it's not in this room. I think it might be underneath us. There's a room underneath. Maybe it's underneath us. No, that's... I didn't really want that. We need some lights on up here so we can... Oh, actually, let's go over here. So we can see if it starts hunting. Any degrees. Yeah, because what I'm thinking is... Is that we're not going to know whether it's hunting. And our sanity seems to drop like crazy. You know what we should probably do is open this door first. It's also... What the hell is going on? Uh, it kind of dropped below 20, but I wouldn't necessarily say that's going to be hunting. I think it's in this one. Are you joking me right now? That's below 20, but I don't think it's... This is the one I think it's in. Can you give me a sign? There's definitely footsteps outside. Maybe... It... I think it's in the hospital above us. Yeah. I think it's in the hospital area. Of course it's in the hospital area. Of, of all the places to get again. We got the hospital again. What's all this about? Oh, I'm so gutted that we don't have a crucifix. I'm actually kind of worried a little bit now. Okay, let's do that. Drop that. Let's get the F out of here. I cannot believe... Oh my god, we haven't got this... This main area we haven't got lights for. Which is absolutely terrible. Because we're not going to know if... For our loop... The loop that we are going to use to try and get away from the ghost every single time... We're not going to know whether it's hunting or not. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Okay, let's see our sanity. I'm expecting our sanity to be like, I don't know. My real life sanity is like five, but 60 maybe. Oh, 88. That's pretty high, actually. Um, okay, well, let's go in with Spirit Box. Let's go in Ecto and let's go. Do we go in with Crucifix on this one? I'm going to take Crucifix. I know you guys are probably thinking like it's too soon for that, but I think we do Crucifix. I'm still not convinced it's in that. I'm, I'm still not. I'm still not convinced. Like, although it has done the interactions while we're in there. But it's done the same interaction. Both times. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is it. I'm not convinced. If we get, like, ectoplasm, then I'll be convinced. Or if we get, like, another interaction, maybe. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? I don't know, man. I don't think it's in here. I don't think it's in here. We're wasting so much time finding this thing. Okay. Let's try... Why are we getting so many interactions in there, though? That's what I want to know. Is it in here, maybe? Maybe it's like just glitched through the wall. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? It's not here. We're trying the room downstairs. I'm going to keep the crucifix on me. There's no way it can be in here, right? I mean, can you imagine? Let's go. Let's head... I tell you what we need to find as well. We need to go in the basement and also the kitchen area. I mean, I don't think it will be in either of those, but I guess we'll try it. Are you in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Where are you? Are you friendly? No, okay, you're not here. 
you in here. I don't think it can spawn in here. This is... Oh, there's a door open here, though. Hello. Excuse you. Are you in here, maybe? I don't know what that was. I don't want to know what that was. Maybe it is in this room, because that door was... Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? I don't think it's in here either. Like, surely it can't spawn in here. No, it's not down here. Where the F is it? Is it in the basement? Oh, you know what? Did I see a... Did I see... Where did I see a cursed item? I feel like I saw one somewhere. But where? Where's the basement? The basement's here. I can barely see anything. This is absolutely terrifying. I don't know if you guys... You guys probably can't see absolutely anything. Nothing down here. We're looking for ectoplasm, really. What is going on on this map? This is on easy and every single freaking light breaks. It's not down here. What is going on, man? Are you having a laugh? I've turned like one light on. How is everything breaking? I don't know what's going on. I feel like I feel like we're in trouble. I feel like we're going to die. And I really don't want to die. Are you in here? Oh, we found the thing. Okay. Let's uh let's do this. Let's do this. Let's drop this. Is this No, that's broke. Of course it's broke. What what on earth is going on? I've got one light on and everything else is breaking. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't start hunting. Well, it's not over here. There's no way it's over here. It's got to be down here. Okay, we'll try it under this little walkway. Are you joking me? It's in the basement. It's in the friggin' basement. No way. There's no way it's in the basement. And it's in the basement. As we get, oh my god, this game. We are cursed on this level. We are absolutely cursed. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. We had like ten pins. And the second one is the one that goes through the heart. No way, man. Okay, so we know it's in the basement, though. So that's good. That's good knowledge. Oh, we've wasted a crucifix. So that's terrible. We're at 92% now. Okay. Well, we know where it is now. So let's... Um... Oh, I'm going to need to take a crucifix, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to take a crucifix with me. Let's put that down. So it is in the basement. That's insane. Is it in the, like, the whole basement? Like, where is it? It's the whole basement. We need to be so careful here, man. I cannot see anything. We've got no lights to turn on either. I'm going to assume it come from this direction. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you in like in here maybe? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? It's not in that room. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where? It just shut a door. Well, what door did it shut? Oh, it's in here. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Oh, yeah. We got. I think we got fingerprints here, man. I think we got fingerprints. Oh, my God. We've got fingerprints. This thing is going nuts. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Right. Let's get in here. We know where it is, so that's huge. Definitely not spirit box. There's no way it can be spirit box. 
Let's go get the ectoplasm. Let's also go get whatever item we've got upstairs. Maybe ESG, I think. And we've probably lost so much sanity as well. Because we're in the dark. That's the problem. That's our biggest problem right now. Uh, we still got that soul. I really wish that was crucifix, though. We could really do with another crucifix on this map. Especially now that we've wasted one. Right, let's go... Let's go ESG. Go ectoplasm. So I don't think it's spirit box. So let's rule out spirit box. This thing is... Oh, I don't know if it's that quick. It's pretty quick. But we did, like, run straight into it. I can't believe it was in the basement as well. Of all the places to be. I'm going to guess it's fingerprints. Like, it just... It feels like fingerprints. Like, it's messing about with doors, light switches like crazy. So, most likely fingerprint. We've got to be so careful. Have you got ectoplasm for me? The ectoplasm. Nothing. Can you even give me interactions down here? I feel like you wouldn't even be able... There's no ect ectoplasm either. Man, this is like... What is going on? Manifest. Can you show yourself? Manifest. Okay. I'm going to guess no to ectoplasm as well. Let's, uh, let's head out. Let's go get some more items. Doesn't look like freezing at the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean it, it won't be. So probably not ectoplasm either. We're narrowing this down quite a lot. Could be a Gorio, because a Gorio won't give the evidence of, um, kind of like the Faz Gorio, won't give the evidence of manifestation if you're in the room. So we might need to put a camera down here. So let's go UV. I'm pretty certain it's going to be fingerprints. Let's go, let's go EMF. And do we do pills here? Yeah, I think we do pills again. Let's do pills. Let's go in with camera. Because this could easily be a Gorio. And then, at least then, once we've got all the evidence down... I mean, it's got to be... I'm pretty certain this is fingerprints. It has to be. Once we've got all the evidence down, we can then start taking lights and, you know, start playing it a little bit better. We've just got to be really careful that it doesn't start hunting. That's going to be our biggest problem right now. I'm going to need to drop this instantly. Please don't hunt. Drop this. Fingerprints. Touch this door again. Fingerprints. Oh no! Oh man, I thought it was hunting. It's not hunting. Holy crap, my light flickered like crazy. Definitely fingerprints. We knew that. I mean, it had to be, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, fingerprints. Omrio, Oni, Gorio, Revenant. Okay, well, let's go, let's go check the cameras. Oh my god, that scared the bananas out of me. I honestly thought that was hunting. Jeez Louise, that was crazy. Right, it is pitch freaking black in there. I cannot see anything. That is... How am I supposed to see ESG? How am I supposed to see ESG? I'm going to have to put the ESG in front of the easel. Oh my god, this is going to be insane. Right, I think we're going to have to go in with Candle. Let's go in with Fulu. Let's go in with... A light. Okay. I'm happy with that. We're going with candles. Let's do candles, actually. Let's do candles. Let's come back with the other two. Maybe another two. Put it all down there. At least that way we can see ESG as well. Okay. Be careful with hunting here. Put this in front of the ESG thing. Yep. I'm happy with that. Uh, actually, what else have I got? Oh, Fulu. Let's drop that. Hopefully, it gives us some sort of evidence. I don't know if it will do. I want to quickly run back to the van if I can make it in time. I don't think I will. Drop that. Go, 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 go. Come on, I want to make it in time for the Fulu to not run out. And then we can see Gorio. I, I think this is going to be a Gorio. See, that's a lot better. We should be able to see... Oh, I don't know if he will see, you know. Like, there's nothing in there for it to interact with. That's the crazy thing, right?
nothing on this is going to be a gorio i'm telling you this is 100 percent going to be a gorio let me go in with another two candles we have got fulu do we do we risk fulu right now i don't know if we do let's, oh, let's just do it oh do we do another esg let's do another esg actually let's get double esgs down we've got the crucifix on the top of the stairs so we should be fine with that Keep in mind, guys, we still have to do the exorcism. And we've already wasted two lots of pills and also a crucifix. Yeah, this isn't good. We're in trouble. There's no two ways about it. We're in trouble. Let's do start hunting. Holy crap, I'm scared. Let's do that. Let's go get the light. Let's go get the crucifix. And then we can just chill. Well, we won't chill, but we'll, you know, we'll start actually investigating stuff, see what's going on. Ah, you know what we can do, though? Oh, we could use this and, and create evidence. Yes, let's do that. Because it can't hunt. The only way it can hunt is obviously it drops our sanity too low. So let's do this. Can't open that one. That's annoying. It's not given us anything. Like, I don't even think it can actually give us evidence down here, you know? Not evidence, sorry. Um, interactions. The only other thing I could think of is maybe it's in the other room. Maybe it's in here. You got freezing for me or something? Manifest? Can you show yourself? got to be in here though right the only thing it's doing is like the door that's literally all it's doing i really want to put like that there okay manifest and you show yourself the thing is it also did the light switch on here as well i mean it's not freezing at the moment do ectoplasm. Doesn't look like ectoplasm at all. Any ectoplasm in here? No. Let's head into the other room quickly. Any ectoplasm? Anything at all? Please just give me something. I don't think it's in this room. Okay, it's definitely not ectoplasm. Go spirit box again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Can you show yourself? Are you friendly? Please, Louise, man, we're in trouble. Our sanity is probably absolutely tanking. What if we stay outside? Can we see... Let's see if ESG happens. I'm just listening. It's not freezing. Is it EMF? It's not freezing. We'd have had that already. If it's E... Oh my god, that scared me. So if it's Ezo, it's an Omrio. It's literally a Gorio or an Omrio. But it's hunted, so I think this is a Gorio. Yeah, I think this is a Gorio. Maybe if we put it in there. We're quite far away. Yeah, I think we do that. Let's head back to the van. Let's get some pills if we need it. Because we're going to need this. We're good. I think it just shut the door. Yeah, I think it just shut the door. You got a five? It's five. That's a five, though. Oh, that's a five. It just launched something as well. I don't know what it just threw. It just threw. What did it throw? There's nothing in there. 
Okay, we've got EMF5, though. That's huge evidence. Hello. EMF5? Uh, it's not really, because we kind of knew what it was. So, Oni Omrio Gorio. It's definitely a Gorio. Weird how everything... Did I say Onio? <laughs> I think it's said Onio. It's going to say everything... It's weird how everything ends in O, but Oni definitely doesn't end in O. 64%. I can't. If it's ESG, I'm not going to know it's ESG anyway. I think... Oh, it can't be an Omrio because it's already hunted. I don't think it's an Oni. I think this is going to be a Gorio. Should we go Gorio? I think we go Gorio. Like... Oh, I don't know, though. It's not freezing. It's not freezing. The o actually, the only reason it hunted us is because is because we used the doll and it forced the hunt. Otherwise, it wouldn't have hunted us. I don't know. I don't know what the play is here. Maybe we go get another easel. Yeah, I think maybe we let's go get another easel. Let's take pills. The other easel's in the other room, in the, uh, the hospital room. Uh, I think I'm going to do... Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Because we've got an easel down there. By the time we go get the other easel and bring it back, hopefully it'll either already have done the easel. And if it hasn't, then we have to rule out easel at that point. Maybe we put double in there and just see what happens. We're at 100% sanity. This thing is not hunting us, so it makes me think it's an Omrio. But then on the flip side, the Gorio is just as quiet. That like, Gorio is pretty silent when it does stuff. I'm going to drop uh, that there. Let's take this. The only other thing I've got is uh, the thermostat, but I don't think it's going to be freezing. I can't see it being freezing anyway. I think at all times we keep crucifix on us now, just in case it decides to randomly hunt us. But I have to admit, compared to the last game, our sanity is definitely not slowing down as much as what it was before. I mean, uh, speeding up, slowing down, going down as fast as it was before. Okay, let's do put that there maybe we put let's put this over here maybe move the camera uh let's put it here there we go okay playing with doors still so it's still messing about esg boom i told you it was a gorio done get me freaking out of here man all right now we need to find the picture uh, I need to stop watch. Ah, I need the candle, actually. Let's go candle. I freaking knew it was a Gorio as well. So the Gorios are basically absolutely silent assassins. They will not do anything. They will literally not do anything. So if you have a ghost that doesn't give you any evidence, I, I found it. Oh my God, this is like the best run ever. Give me this. Uh, let's go do the... Are we, what are we missing? No, we're just going to need to do the puzzles. Oh, my God. No way do we have to do the puzzle down here. Oh, that sucks. We're going to need the stopwatch as well. We'll go back and get that. Okay, this is not going to be good. The only thing I can think of is maybe we put the candle like, on here. Can I put it on here? Oh, I can. Is that in the way, though? I feel like that's going to be in the way. All right, let's do this. Uh, I don't... All right, we'll read the note, even though I've already read it, but I think... Will it stop flashing now? Yeah, it'll stop flashing. It's fine. Right, so we know what we're doing. We need to get the top ones first. Uh, okay, I need to get... No, I need this. This. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Kind of got it. I need I need that on the other side. Yeah, that's no good. We need that on the other side. Let's do this. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we're cooking. We're cooking. Yeah, kind of. This. Yes, that looks good. 
so close. So close. We just need to. We need to move this. Hang on. Yeah, we got it. Boom. Nice. Okay. Key. Give me this. Give me that candle back. I don't care if you start hunting now. All right. So we need to go get. Oh my god. Never mind. I thought it was hunting then. Need to go get the stopwatch. Hopefully, it's around about 11 o'clock, so we can go do the thingamajig. Then we can get the tape, the fuses, and the scalpel. You know what I wish? I wish you could get those uh, those three things, four things, before you go into the room. Like, I wish there was a way of picking them up, but I suppose that uh, it might be too easy, I guess, maybe. Uh, what are we like? 91%. Wow, that candle did its job nicely. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's walk around with this again. We'll walk around with another candle. Just to play it safe. Because at least this way, at least if we have to walk around a little bit more and we walk within the area of the candle. So maybe if we put this here. Take this. Okay. So uh, let's go get the stopwatch. We need to find tape, fuses, and the scalpel after we get into this. I'm really hoping it's around about one o'clock maybe. Okay. Let's put this here do this what's the time uh it's past three so it's going to be mirrored right so if it's mirrored it's going to be in the corner it's going to be on the opposite side yeah so that makes sense right pretty certain mirrored if it's mirrored but is it which way is it mirrored though that's what i want to know so if you had a mirror is it mirrored this way or this way so if it's mirrored, it's going to be this side. So dirt, 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 no. Mirrored. So down like that. So it'd be on this side, right? A mirror, it would be this side. It has to be, right? With this, this, this. Da, 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 da. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Because is it mirrored this way or is it mirrored this way? I don't know how long we got. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to lose all my stuff. This is the problem. Oh, man, this is going to suck. Is it mirrored this way or is it mirrored this way? Because if it's mirrored this way, it would be like this. And it would finish on that. So which way is it mirrored? How do you know? How are you supposed to know which way it's mirrored? So hang on. Let's look at this. We just gotta hope it doesn't start hunting. So if it's mirrored, it's a shame that there isn't something on here that gives us like an idea of where it could be. So if it's mirrored, mirrored across here, it would be the opposite. So it'd be like this. No, this. But if it's mirrored this way, it'd be like this. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so it's past five now. So what does that mean in terms of the notes? So if it's past, it's between five and eight, it's pattern C. It's 180 degree rotation of pattern B. So is that the one that we did before we just died? I mean, in the previous one, sorry. Is it 180 degree of pattern B? So pattern B would be mirrored. What did we say? If it was mirrored, it would be this one. So it'd be like this. But then it's 180 degrees. feel like this is wrong i feel like if it was i think it would be this one and then 180 degrees so that would be 90 so it'd be in this corner here right i think it's this one i don't know then i don't want to risk it because i've got so much stuff i don't know i really don't know 
Ah, uh, man, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Five and eight. So that one is, it goes like this. Mirrored. So let's say it's mirrored down the middle. So vertically, right? That's vertical mirrored. So it'd be on this side. So it'd be like that and it'd finish here. 90 degrees would be in that corner. 108 would be in this corner. So it'd be like that. Oh, we're going to do it. We're doing it. We're right. We're right. We're right. Oh my God, we did it. Open this. Okay, let's read this. We know this. That's fine. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? Okay, we still got time. We still got time. So it's this one, right? Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, okay. Go. And then hopefully, if we can find... If we can find these items before it gets to one o'clock, we've absolutely destroyed this. We gotta make sure we don't waste this crucifix though. Anything in here, anything in here. So we're looking for fuses, tape. There's also a loop here as well, I just realized. So you can go around. It's a very short loop though, so it's dangerous. It's not hunting yet. Got anything for me in here? I don't wanna turn the light on because it's gonna draw attention from the ghost and I don't want that. There's a head over there. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I can't see. I'm going up. Absolutely not. We are not playing that game today. Yeah, I see you looking at me. Right. We're looking for fuse boxes. Tape. Boom. Found the tape. Oh, there's a light there. That's kind of weird. What was that? Shiny? No. Fuse, though. Oh, uh, no. We need to find another fuse box. All right, let's turn this off. Are you still down there? Yeah, you're still down there. Oh, yeah, you're still down there. So I still don't know if it can spawn in the toilet. It doesn't look like it. Okay, what we got? Anything in here? Bound to be something in here, right? We got nothing. 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 Okay, we need a fuse box. I feel like there's a few scalpel huge okay so we just need two fuses is there a fuse box in here i don't think there is there's a fuse box out here oh it's here okay one where's the other fuse box is it downstairs i think it's down here right come on come on come on come on is there not a fuse here no there's no fuse where's the other fuse Oh, it's by the head. You suck, mate. Seriously. Go on and explode. Oh, God. Fuse. No, what? It's downstairs. It's with the ghost. What's the time? Oh, man. We're so... Oh, no. We're... We've got loads of time. What the hell? We've got loads. We've smashed this. Fuse. Fuse. We've got them all. We've done this. We've done this in, like, record time. Actually, I think it's around about the same time as what we did before. Man, this... I like this. This puzzle is kind of cool. You just need to try and work it out properly, I guess. Right, I'm definitely... Definitely not going to uh, risk anything on this one. We're just going to chill. We're going to chill until 1 o'clock. I think we don't risk this. I mean, to be fair, we could probably try and work it out, I guess. Should we try and work it out? So what's the time now? So it's between 10 and 12. So between 10 and 12, so E, pattern E. Pattern E is the 180 degree rotation of pattern D. And pattern D is the 180 degree rotation of the mirror image of pattern B. Okay, I'm not going to do it, but let's see if we can work it out. So pattern A is this. Pattern B would be this. Right? That's right. So pattern B is that one. And it's 180 degree rotation of D. And 180 degree rotation of D... was the was this one and then it's e is going to be the 180 degree rotation oh so it's in the same place so it should be here it should be here oh, i don't want to risk it i'm not going to risk it no i'm not going to risk it okay yeah okay i'm not going to risk it i don't want to we're so close to one o'clock. There's no, there's no reason to, but I'm pretty certain it will be this one. Oh, wait, no. 
Oh yeah, it, it will be. It'll be this. So it'll end in that top left-hand corner. Because pattern A is this. 100... No. Mirrored effect would be this. 180 degree rotation would be this. And then another 180 degree rotation would be back at that again. Yeah, that would be right. So we start from this one. But I'm going to do A. So it starts from this one next to it. Okay, you can definitely work it out. I'm, 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 I'm definitely going to do a video on how to work this out because if I can work it out, anyone can work it out. It's really not that difficult. Um, it's just obviously if it's hunting and you're in the heat at the moment, yeah, it can be quite exhilarating and you're probably going to end up stepping on one of the other tiles. So you've got to be a bit careful. And also, I suppose the exorcism is quite hard because that duct tape is really difficult to see. If it wasn't flashing... I don't think I would have found that because the spot, the like the gap that you have to duct tape up is sweet Jesus is hard work. That's like a nightmare to try and see. OK, I'm just going to ramble for the next half an hour. We should be good. Well, not in real life, in game time. So one second is like literally one second, right? Or I should say one minute is one second. Yeah, I think so. OK, so it literally takes 60 60 seconds to do an hour so it takes a minute to do an hour yeah okay so i can see why if you didn't want it if you just wanted to wait till one till three because that's the easiest way of doing it i can see why that would be an absolute nightmare because it would take freaking ages right yeah it would take that would take absolutely ages the good thing as well we can actually hear it hunting underneath us right so we start from this one go like that go like that so we need to finish in that corner there basically We're here. We'll wait till five past. Okay, crucifix. Let's do this. Nice. I wonder what happens. I know obviously it said it instantly kills you, but does it actually instantly kill you? Or does it just like jump scare you or something? We'll have to try that as well. I'll, I'll try it without any items though. Uh, so what do we do? What are we doing? Scalpel. Uh, then we do duct tape. So duct tape. Duct tape. And duct tape. And then go do the fuses. One, two. And then we fry this SOB. Do some screenshots. Absolutely insane. Love it. All right, let's try and... um. Let's try and work this out. So we're still, so we can still do this. So what happens if we step on the wrong one? Will we die? I don't know if this is worth doing. Let's try it. 